walked back and, well, Guns of Glory decided that they would do a new update. Now, everyone was expecting this, so it's not a big surprise whatsoever. And it's going to be coming up probably within the next 10 days or so. And it'll start to mimic some of King of Avalon's latest upgrades. So, I'm going to give you my best interpretation of this update. So, once the game loads up and we get into the mail, let's go ahead and take a look at it and see from there. So, let's go ahead and pull up our mail system. Alright, so it says that Crown Invasion event has been optimized. So, I believe that's pretty much just going to be the loading screen. It's going to start mimicking more of King of Avalon with how it's set up. It's going to start probably looking a little bit more like how it looks for Ultimate Alliance campaign where it lists out the different kingdoms that are available. You can easily go and teleport to those kingdoms through those use of the buns. PvP battle has been optimized. I think this is just going to be some mechanics. I never understand fully what is going on in the game. Yeah, I might seem in, um, like I know what I'm doing, but a lot of the times I really don't. Um, whoever designed this game probably also doesn't know what they're doing um, when it comes to this. So that's really interesting. Duration of the Ultimate Alliance campaign was shortened. Okay, um, probably not that much was it shortened, but that would be nice. Um, Ultimate Alliance campaign goes into our kill event, so it would be a, nice to have a little longer kill event because our kingdom wants to kill everyone else in our kingdom rather than just killing random other people for free. So that's cool. Glad that they're doing that. New paths added to the building expedition. Huh, I wonder why. New benefits added to the Dashing Duelist's Guards. And then they added and adjusted some bundles. So, new benefits added to the Dashing Duelist. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at that first. So, come down here. Let's go to our guard roster. And let's go pull up Dirangatang. So d Tang has his normal benefits, but then he also has the Dashing Duelists. Current level, 3 times Dashing Duelist spawns. Distance damage received, minus 10%, that sucks. Troop attack, plus 10%, that's cool. Infantry damage received, minus 10%. Now you unlock all three if they're at one star. Um, I believe that's actually how it went. So, you could only get them if you had all three. Once you have all three and they're all equipped, then you get them. Um, let's go ahead and mess around with this just to verify this information. Let's go ahead and take off d -ring a tang uh, I don't want to dismiss him. I want to replace him. And then let's go ahead and we'll have Kitty. So let's take a look and see what she has. So she has nothing. She is worth nothing. So actually, we can't really mess around with this. But I'm pretty sure, um, as soon yeah, because as soon as they're at one star, you get all three. So I think that maybe they'll do some like if they're all at two stars, you'll get these benefits now. If they're all at three stars, you'll get these benefits. Something along those lines. Um, moving forward past that, another big thing is the coat of arms. Unlock this feature and obtain more benefits. What is the coat of arms? There is no information about this. Well, let me give you some ideas. New pass added to the building expedition. Building expedition is lacking. Um, so is research, but I think they're going to, you know, finally fix that eventually. But you can't really get around with uh, research because that's not something you're really buying besides the resources. Um, so it's definitely going to be the statues. So what am I talking about? Well, when you go on each building, you have glory associated with it. So, there's a level of glory, and then there's, you know, the ability to upgrade with your glory banners. Um, but then when you get into what this will be, this is going to be like an additional type of glory. However, it's going to be set up just like your airship ability parts. So, it's going to look like this. You're going to have a certain building. So, let's say your building is going to be from 
these four. It's going to be that first half of the rotation. So you're going to have your attack, you're going to have your defenses, you're going to have your health, then you're going to have some like troop stats. So each building will have some of those, and you have to buy different statues, or in this case, coats of arms, and place them into the proper position based on their, you know, size with the hole that you're given, just like the same thing with gemstones. You buy different levels, and then you upgrade them, and you trade some old ones in, and you upgrade, use those parts to upgrade your current ones that you already own, different tiers within that, and it's really complicated. It's a great way to get you to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on something. So it's pretty much like adding a lot of great different things because, well, quite frankly, there's a ton of buildings. And within those buildings, there's different um, coat of arms. Now, we'll have to wait and see if each building has multiple coat of arms or if they only have like maybe one or two depending on which building it is. Some of the lesser buildings might have fewer um, coat of arms. And then you'll also have to have your uh, buildings at certain levels in order to unlock certain benefits from those coat of arms. That's my best hypothesis as to how it's going to look. I already know in King of Avalon it's going to be the tiers and you're going to be upgrading it just like the airship parts. I'm not positive on exactly how it's being carried over from King of Avalon, but I think we'll find out within the next couple of days. Basically, that's the new update. I hope you guys will be able to take this, look at King of Avalon, come back with um, you know, some more specifics. If you already know what it's going to happen, if you are a game, uh, Guns of Glory developer, good for you. Leave a comment below. Let me hear it. I want to figure out what's going on because, as you all know, I don't have the patience to wait for the new update. Well, with that being said, this is Cam Cowboy signing off. Thank you all for watching, and hopefully good things come with this new update.